Hello and welcome to another installment of The Coin Dictionary. I'm Wu Hu, and today we'll be talking about this 101 commemorative coin from South Korea. We'll talk about the history, the value, and some of the basics surrounding this coin. So let's get started. Uh, this commemorative coin is similar in dimensions to a U.S. half dollar. It is 12 grams in weight, 30 millimeters in diameter, and is copper nickel in composition. It has a reeded edge, as you can see here, and it has aligned in metal alignment, unlike most circulating South Korean coinage we see today. On the obverse, we have the Gate of Liberty and Peg One underneath, Peg One meaning 101, the denomination. Across the top, we see what exactly this coin is commemorating. Gwangbok 30주년 기념. Gwangbok 30주년 기념, which means uh, 30 years, or th the 30th anniversary, excuse me, 30th anniversary of liberation. And you see the years over here, 1945 to 1975. Now, uh, Korea was under the control of Imperial Japan from 1910 to 1945. They were liberated from Japanese rule in 1945, and this coin was minted in 1975 uh, to commemorate 30 years of independence since then. It was actually the first completely domestically produced South Korean coin. Uh, as previously they had relied on the Osaka Mint to mint their circulating coinage. Uh, this was also the first Korean coin uh, to be minted in proof. Uh, while 4.998 million of these were minted as business strikes, like this one you see here, an additional 2,000 pieces were minted in proof quality. And again, this was the first coin to be produced in such a manner. Uh, on this side, the reverse, we have reverse, excuse me, uh, we have some standing figures with a South Korean, waving a South Korean flag in the background. We have the denomination right here, 100, and Hanguk Unheng, meaning the Bank of Korea. Uh, the engraver of this coin is Jo Byung-su. He based this design, this side specifically, uh, on a sculpture in Tapgol Park, uh, or Pagoda Park in Seoul. Uh, it was based on a sculpture in that park by Kim kyung sung uh, as a commemorative coin, uh, not many people r realize there were, there were not very many high denomination Korean coins in circulation at the time. So this really was not collected all that much. Most people actually did use this as money because there was quite a significant jump between uh, the highest circulating banknote, 501 at the time, and the next highest circulating coin below the 101. Uh, this, this was actually circulating concurrently with the 101 coin in 1975, uh, but the next lowest after that was 51. So most people did actually use these as money. Uh, the face value, speaking of money, is about nine or 10 US cents, depending on the exchange rate. 1975 was, you know, obviously, given it's a 30 year anniversary, was the only year these coins were made. Uh, but if you do find these, they do tend to go for a couple of bucks, especially in circulated condition like this. Anyway, it's a coin with some interesting history. I hope I was able to provide you with a little bit of it, and I hope to see you again here soon, yet again on the Coin Dictionary, for more info on another coin. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching the video. I'm Christian, the founder of the Coin Dictionary Project, and I'd encourage you to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and check out my other channel, Treasure Town, and subscribe to that as well. If you're interested in supporting the channel financially, there are links below that are mostly affiliate links where you can purchase something you probably would have been buying anyways, and by going through my link when you buy, there will be a kickback directly to the Coin Dictionary project that will help support its operations. Hope to see you on some of my other videos, as well as on my channel Treasure Town.